This is class 32 of my arithmetic course. Today we're going to take test number four. If you haven't done the homework from the last class, namely the practice test I assigned you, and if you haven't studied for the test, do that before watching this video. There are 25 problems worth four points each for a total of 100 points. The test should take between one and two hours as usual, and you should clear everything off your desk you just want a pencil and paper and, and your computer so you can see the test or you can print the, uh, the test out on paper. Um, before I give you the test, I want to show you how I'm going to grade the test <clears throat> or how you're going to grade the test. This is how a test would typically be graded in any course. Um, you've already seen this before, so I'm not going to go over it in detail, but uh, you'll lose two points if you don't show your work. Um, you'll lose a point if your answer is not rectangled. You'll lose two points if the answer is uh, incorrect. You'll lose points if you don't write your name, the date, so on and so forth. So you can look at this before you take the test to uh, remind yourself what is required. And uh, after you're done with the test, we'll talk a little bit about uh, your score and how to interpret your score and I'll give you the the answers obviously I'll give you the answers before you can uh, your, you can grade it so uh, here's the test you can take a screenshot of this or a screenshot of the first two pages or and the uh, third and fourth page so go ahead and start the test, and be sure to time yourself, and uh, pause the video, and when you're done, we'll talk about, or I'll, I'll give you the answers, and we'll also talk a little bit about uh, grading the test. All right, we're back. So you should be done with the test. So these are the answers. You can take a screenshot of that. Or if you want individual, the first two pages, take a screenshot of that. And a screenshot of that. So go ahead and grade your, uh, your paper using this, uh, these, uh, these rules here. If you get as usual, if you score a, a 90 to 100, that means you know the material really well. If you score an 80 to an 89, that means you know the material pretty well. If you score a 70 to a 79, that means you know the material, but you have some concepts that you need to work on. And if you score below a 70, that means you don't know the material. And 99% of the time, you just didn't study for the test, or you didn't do the homework. Um, if you're consistently scoring low, uh, below 70, 70 uh, points on your tests, then that means you're really just wasting your time. The purpose of this uh, course is to prove to yourself mostly, but also to prove to other people that you know this material. So if you're consistently scoring below 70, that means that the, the course is really pointless. It's not really doing much for you. Um, so you need to uh, <clears throat> take the course more seriously, and uh, I'll talk about more. I'll talk more about what you can do, your options, uh, if you're not scoring well. Really, all you can do is just uh, use other textbooks and try to uh, learn the things that we've learned. But uh, generally, what's going to happen is if you don't have enough motivation to get through this course, then you're just going to kind of uh, slow down and you're not really going to make much progress in this material and uh, you're just going to be stuck in the mud but hopefully you scored well on the test and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in class 33